our video series on our .me training. Super excited to talk with you about our review system and our blog. Well, we're going to start with the blog. We're going to explain how the blog relates to your .me, how the, bla how the uh, blog relates to your RealtyTexas.com agent subdomain, and how the blog relates to a RealtyTexas.com. Three different sites, three different pages, all relating to our blog, and it's very important that you understand how it all works. Now, our amazing technology committee here, uh, which is a subcommittee of our Agent Leadership Council, um, is being ran uh, by Candace Bryant, who is phenomenal. She has done an incredible job pulling the team together and teaching a blogging class. So if you haven't yet taken that class, I would definitely recommend visiting the calendar company events and find the next time that they're doing one of these blogs. We know that they're going to be doing it at least once a month, and Realty Texas is supplying the wine. Uh, we're doing it later in the evening, and we'll have someone here that's familiar with the system so as you're blogging if you have any questions about how to set it up or the configuration of it they'll be right here to train you but this video is designed for those people who want to do the blogging themselves and they need a deep dive to really understand how it works so that you can start putting content out there now these blogs are built exactly for SEO, so it's gonna drive a ton of traffic back to your website, which is why you wanna do this. So this content needs to be something you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be real estate related. It could be if you love classic cars, writing uh, blogs about that. If you love motorcycles, a blog about that. If you're an avid jogger, if you like to go to the gym, if you're into CrossFit, whatever you your hobbies are and the things that really interest you um, trying to put information out there about that topic and you'll start attracting people with that same interest um, and that's where really good relationships are formed so let's dig in here i am in my realtytexas.me i am logged into myself when i click the blog icon which is right up here it's going to take me to my blog system. Now you'll see the on button green here and you'll see the on button black. We can also um, pull these in so that we minimize them. The green means it's live on the website. So I can click the edit button here and I can say disabled and save. And then when we go back to the blog, you're going to see that both of them are currently turned off. So the blog here, this is the way to add a blog, to edit a blog, to take them off the site, put them back on the site, upload content, you can upload images, you can upload videos, you can do all kinds of stuff. And I always say, why don't you go ahead and blog about your listing as well, and then attach the listing page to your blog. So when people are on your blog, they can click it, which will take them to the listing, and the listing will take them back to your website. And on your website is Instant Messenger, just waiting to have uh, them interact with you. And people are 10 times more likely to click a chat that's live and be able to message with you than anything else. And the number of leads that Realty Texas has had coming in from running our own Facebook ads using Instant Messenger has been incredible. So it is something that we're going to double down on because when you find something that works, uh, we're going to chase it because this is a huge lead source for us with a CPL cost per lead that is very, very low, much, much lower than anything else we've ever done before. So if you want to create a new blog, you simply click new blog. You can only see your blogs here. Now, I have two other tabs open. The first tab is MyRealtyTexas.me, and this is my agent subdomain. Every agent here at Realty Texas has their own subdomain. It is the first part of your email address, so it's the portion before, or on your .me, you'll notice the same thing. Jack-Stapleton.RealtyTexas.com is my agent subdomain, just like your name is your subdomain. And then uh, RealtyTexas.me forward slash Jack Dax Stapleton is uh, my version of the hub. All of you have your own. And then your email address, it, in my case, Jack-Stapleton at RealtyTexas.com. So that format is all over, so everything is very consistent, so you don't have to remember what they are. And all of these links are already on your RealtyTexas.me dashboard for you to click, and we'll take you right to your subdomain so that you can have access to it. So you can see what this consumer sees. Now we create these for you automatically. If you want to create a different header, you certainly can, but we've just tried to create the site to be as clean and easy to see as possible. That's important to us. You'll see here that the Realty Texas page uh, that is our page automatically has chat messenger up. And so if you want the chat messenger icon on your subdomain, all you have to do is in your profile, Go to your dot me, edit your profile, 
and go down and just make sure that the Facebook account is filled in here. And if it is, no dashes, no at signs, nothing, just whatever comes after facebook.com forward slash, whatever comes after forward slash you put here. And then uh, you will see that your chat icon on your page um, is up here like this one. And so uh, if someone clicks this, it launches the Realty Texas uh, Facebook Instant Messenger automatically is set up with language that reaches out to them, says hello, and as soon as they respond, it sends a message to uh, Amy McAllister, who is our new relocation uh, inside sales agent, who immediately responds to that lead, whether it's during business hours or after, and tries to get that lead associated to an agent. And so we are doing a massive amount of lead gen, and the Facebook ads that we're running right now with such a low cost per lead is really exciting for us. So you can have this chat button if you want it on your site, it comes with it. So you'll notice you have a blog icon on your subdomain, and there's a blog icon on the company page. So the difference is, if I click blog here, again, we try to create a very streamlined, clean page, none of my blogs are live. So if I go to my blog app and click edit and put it active and save it, come over to this page and refresh, you'll now see my blog pop up. And so only my blogs show up on my pages. And that way, uh, no roads lead away from your subdomain or away from your agent profile. Once an agent lands or once a buyer or seller lands on your subdomain and all of your subdomains are built for SEO. And so the more content, the more blogs, the more reviews, and the better you have filled out your um, mission statement and your agent third party bio, the more your site is going to rank uh, higher in the search engines, which means you're going to get more noticed. And if you want to be on first page, you need to put about three months of data in here, which means maybe doing a blog a week, get 12 or 15 blogs, have your third person bio and your mission statement, um, you'll already be on page one. And so we are ranking very high for our name because our name is in our subdomain, our name is on the page. The name is in the blog and so there's a lot of great content here so you rank very high on your name it's very very easy for us to beat out the competition on your name because it's very specific now trying to beat out the competition on 123 main street that's a different story we're still finding first pace ads but that is a much more difficult task but we're able to get agents on the first page and based on the blogs that they're doing and the reviews that they're getting pulling up those search terms which is very cool so that is why you will not see the agents or the roster up here because once you're on a subdomain nothing will take the consumer away from your subdomain you've got your buy page uh, we're using the same technology on here for the map search that zillow is doing for the polygon search and the data is all over texas and it's super easy to do a home search just fill out these uh, five uh, and if you want to have more filters and as you're adding data to this, it's automatically limiting it. So super easy to use. If anybody has any suggestions or questions or feedback for the website, we love feedback, but we still are in the middle of development. So again, my blog will appear here, but if we go over to realtytexas.com and click blog, you will also see my blog right here on the bottom. It's the most recent blog. I just put it active. And so all of your blogs are here and these blogs will take consumers to your subdomain and your blog on your subdomain will keep people on your subdomain. So we understand what the agents are trying to do. We're trying to drive traffic to those agents who are actually creating content. So the more content that you create, the more people will be driven to your subdomain and clicking, clicking that messenger box and popping up a messenger on your iPhone so that you can start engaging with customers and all of a sudden they just start coming out of the woodwork. Now we teach Omega how to prospect, uh, prospect, convert, close and follow up and rinse repeat. But we also are having to supplement the prospecting that you guys are doing by looking into your spheres to create that referral based business. But just as important, you need to have leads to supplement and you should have at least a hundred leads a month and doing what we're doing right now we have the capability of delivering a hundred leads a month to every single one of our agents both to you and Aaron in our social media department teaching you how to run Facebook ads making sure that you're running Facebook ads on your coming soon because at the time you're advertising a coming soon listing 
during the coming soon, you're really the only person who has information about that listing, which means you are going to rank really high on the search engines. And in fact, if you can get it on our website on Monday and get it on the website, maybe Monday, uh, a blog about your listing and add the listing and then put it live maybe Monday by noon and then go live Monday at four with the coming soon in the secondary MLS. For those of you who have taken Realty Texas University, you understand our coming soon. Or if you've taken Mega, you understand our coming soon. And if you haven't taken either, it's up on the training page of your.me where you can take that training. So I understand that this is a blogging uh, class, but it has to also be understanding why we built this blog and what the purpose of it is and what the value of it is. If I don't explain the value to you, I'm afraid that not everyone's going to be blogging and I know you want those leads and this will give it to you. We've built this site for SEO. You just got to trust the process and thankfully our agent leadership council and the subcommittee of the technology is doing these monthly blogging classes. I couldn't be more excited. So again, if you go to the company blog page, it's a mixture of all of the agents who have been blogging all in one place and those blogs will take them to that agents page thank you candace for all your help with our technology committee and on the company site we have our subdomain here and only your blogs will appear so super excited um, about the front end of the customer sees as well as the website now let's go back to your agent hub if you click new blog post you're going to give it a title let's call it first time we're going to do something like this though okay Something like this, catchy, uh, first time home buyers grow fearful in a mixed market, tips to help ease the pain, right? And then you're gonna put some content together on this and put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and write a really great blog that is gonna be uh, putting yourselves in their position in the buyer right now and make them feel comfortable, make them feel safe. And if you can do that, then they're gonna reach out to you because you've already built trust. Because home buyers just want someone who's gonna tell them it's gonna be okay and give them faith and that they trust is gonna get them to the closing table on time and trouble free. And so that is our job. There are so many agents out there that what we call deal killers. I'm not saying that we don't look out for our clients because I do. I will go to the nines and fight for my clients. But I also don't create drama where it's unnecessary. Very professional with the other agents. Always, period, end of story. And with my clients, I always ask them, are you excited? Yes, awesome, I'm excited for you. And I check in with them to see where they're at. And if they're in a good place, I'm going to leave them there. But I will also give them bad news if I have to but I also give them solutions to the bad news that also makes them feel safe. That is really what they need. Someone to hold their hand, tell them it's gonna be okay, and be honest with them. And there's very few situations in real estate that are truly a deal breaker. Most things can be worked out. That's our job as an agent. All right, off the soapbox, back to this. So find a title that's really awesome, and then you have all of these search buttons in here. But the way that the site is built, this is really just kind of an introductory save. It's not, there's not a whole lot of features here on purpose. So just give it a name and then type in your blog because most people are just gonna have the blog written in Microsoft Word and then just paste it in here and then click save. Now, once you've clicked save, it saves the blog and opens it up in edit view. You see, we have to actually have the title before we can actually create the blog because the title is uh, the file name of the blog. And so if we don't have the title first, we can't create the page. And so that's what we're doing is allowing you to create the title, click save. Okay, and then you're gonna have a lead in and then a message. So sometimes the lead in is just a couple sentences. Um,
Okay, real content live right out of my brain. In the strongest seller's market of all time, some buyers have lost out home after home after home. But as the market is changing, are they entering in the market upset and ready to fight with sellers? Or are they afraid to come back as they're unsure if the bottom's gonna fall out? Then of course we edit it and get the commas in the right place and start making it look good. But what happens here, and let's just say that this is our actual blog here. I'm gonna grab some of this content. Add more, click save. I'm gonna activate it and click save and then go to my page and hit refresh one more time oh got it um okay here we're going to use this as the file name we still have to tell it the seo friendly file name save url save now refresh why uh first time home buyers uh, grows fearful pain in a mixed market this right here is the lead-in and the lead-in should be short and it should summarize what you're going to say because when they click it they're not going to uh the actual blog is down here and the lead-in is here and this is just a short description of what your blog is about this is another amazing tool for seo because it's more keywords in a condensed view and as people are scrolling through the view it's really difficult in today's market to get people to read. All of them just want videos. They want to scroll up on Instagram. They want video, video, video. And so text is a much more savvy buyer trying to get information about something specific. If someone is looking for something, they're going to be looking for it. And so if you can give them the gist of your blog so that they can determine it's relevant for them to click it to go inside it, they will read your blog. But guess what? We didn't just create text blogs. We also created video blogs for you. And so I am going to go back here now. I'm going to create a new blog. I'm going to call it something um, Austin Housing Crisis Reaches New Levels After Appraisals Have Been Certified. Assessments, actually. Okay, so again, we're going to just throw something out there that we think that's going to stick a wall, something that people are absolutely uh, passionate about right now that is a topic that we have so much competency about. We're going to go ahead and click Save. And I'm going to take this same title, do what we did before, and throw it into the blog URL and click Save URL. It says, yep. Put it back active, but this time I'm going to say Video Blog. And when I click video blog, it's actually reaching into my realtytexas.me video folder and I can grab any video that's there. And in our video creators, it's dumping them into this folder. And of course, you don't have to use one of those videos. You can take any video that you've created and dumped it right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and set this as the video blog because I really like that one. It's just a trailer of Realty Texas. It's, it's uh, not really anything special. It's just a, a trailer. So I'm going to add that to the blog here, and I'm going to say that the lead-in is something like um, many sellers in Austin are mulling over selling their homes and moving to suburbs as Inflation and assessment increases. So have sellers' fears of the equity in their home lowering. Okay. So, again, this is what our blog lead is going to be. Super simple. Um, and then throw that in here. We're going to go ahead and click save and then back over here we'll now have our third blog um, of course i'm going to turn these off because i'm just going as fast as i can but then there there is the video and people can watch the video and it's right here on top so we've moved things around you've still got your lead in but instead of the text there it's a video and so you have a video blog and by the way, here I am with my customer service chat with us on live search. If I read this, I'm like, oh, hey, look, this guy's over here. They click the button, they type, and poof, 
all of a sudden I'm having a conversation with an agent live from your phone. So that's how simple and how quick it is for you to create a blog. So I hope you guys are really seeing the value here. We're really having fun building out this tech for you. Um, that's about all I got for the blog other than the training that's going to go into you understanding what all of these are these three blink uh these three bl blue links here uh, if you want to add your agent token you can do that here it's a quick button from your dot me if you want to add a link to your realty texas website um, that's automatically added for you by clicking that and again any video that you want to upload can be just uploaded here and dumped in here whether it's from your dot me um, and how do you get your video open a new page open a new tab rather we're going to scroll down to your videos and click the plus button open a new window rather copy video address is what I want and then in my blog editor I guess it's here click here dump it in here and insert and now when I save it I just hit my eight hours, so I'm going to copy this. Okay, so I have uncovered a bug. I guess I'm going to give myself a $25 gift card. <laughs> All right, so I'm, th I'm thinking that these are fine. They are. Well, the problem is, is this. It's not a URL link that I put in there, I don't think. Uh, edit undo, nope. Open in a new page again, or copy video address. What was it? So, okay, I'm just testing this really quick, guys. Insert, save. Nope, it was just a session. Okay, cool. So now I'm going back to my Realty Texas subdomain, hit refresh, go here, and yep, this is a problem. So we're gonna have to have Elmer work on this. So, but your website will take you to your RealtyTexas.me website just by clicking that button and you can resize your token. So the blog classes that we're having once a month, it's really good because uh, they will teach you how all of these headers work, what they do. Um, if you are super, super savvy, you can actually edit your own HTML code and go into the HTML uh, editor and edit the code or insert links or um, change colors, fonts, all kinds of stuff. So uh, very, very, uh, this is the HTML code editor here. Um, if you're savvy and you can code, you can actually go to third-party sites and take flyers and things and dump the HTML code in here. So you're really unlimited with the blog and what you can do, but this, the real training of how this uh, tool works uh, is probably best left to the blogging sessions that we have once a month. And if you want a banner image, um, we can grab a banner that we already have in our custom folder. You can upload things to that custom uh, folder. So now if I come back over here, I hit refresh. Um, now I've got my banner on top of the whole thing. So you can make whatever banner that you want to make and upload it. And if you need a special banner for something, um, you can always reach out to Gilbert and Gilbert will make a custom. But also just remember for a minute, just all of that content that you have inside your dot me, everything from posts, but also you've got whatever custom stuff you've had done. And in the media stuff, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, you can scroll down and you can see Facebook headers that could be used in a blog post about certain marketplaces like these, uh, rural Texas, Austin, you can throw an ad in the middle of one of your blogs or um, at the bottom we have more design sets or again if there's something special you need always reach out to Gilbert but there's a lot of content here between the socials that we have and different headers that we've added for you guys uh, to use we have all of our logos 
um, here so you can use all of that content uh, in your blogging so this is pretty much it for the blogging uh, video I wanted to keep it for under 30 minutes um, it's a it's a focused enough topic where um, you got enough to understand the importance of blogging how the blogging interacts with your agent subdomain how the blog interacts with your uh, custom uh, company page blog and then how to create your blog turn it on turn it off edit it all of that so I'm really excited to see more blogs from all of you understanding how important this is for SEO to build your business the content that you have is pretty amazing you just need to spend the time to come in and actually do it and with the blogging class we've done that for you we're gonna have cheese uh, and of course wine so you guys can hang out um, and work and push out a blog uh, on each one of our classes which is getting content to our site and traffic back to yours so thanks for watching the video uh, there's going to be a supplemental video coming up next all about the reviews system so uh, make sure you check out that video